Welcome to Second Take, the show that focuses on the issues behind the news. This week, Mining Weekly editor Martin Creamer delves into cobalt and fuel cells and hydrogen's role in platinum's future. Welcome, Martin. Hi, Sashni. Now, Electric Global has developed a new fuel cell technology that uses cobalt as a catalyst. Yeah, Electric Global is an Australian-Israeli uh, company that has come up with a very promising, looks like a very promising solution to our mobility in a clean green world mm. uh, and but we've always had platinum there saying well this is synonymous with fuel cells what is now startling for south africa is that this company electric global has actually chosen cobalt mm. and they've steered away from the precious metals because of the price of those a demonstration plant is going to be built in israel in april but it looks like you know this could be the answer to a maiden's prayer, because <coughs> you've got a situation where the the fuel that's used is 60% water. It also contains boron, and from that water, they extract hydrogen while you're driving on demand. So it's on board the car. That hydrogen is then converted into electricity, which powers your car in a way that is emission-free, clean and green, but they're saying that you're going to have you know, twice the range that you would have with a normal battery car or Tesla as, 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 as they've been publicizing and at half the cost because what they do is they, they recover the spent fuel, put it through a plant, they recycle it. And so this is making things cost-effective, although one has to look at the plants that will need, one still has to see whether this all works out. Mm. But it's come as a situation that seems to solve a lot of the problems that we had but the bad news is that they're not using platinum as we expected in situations like that they're steering clear of expensive metals and they're going for cobalt of course the demand for cobalt is also lifting so that price is likely to rise but probably never to the level of what you know you mm -hmm. got per ounce in the platinum group metals mm -hmm. Now, should we in South Africa be placing more efforts in recovering cobalt from mining? Now, one of the things that has been stated uh, by Sedi Bello and Pallinghurst in their short-lived sort of uh, run with platinum, because it seems like that is changing quite rapidly and possibly they're moving out of platinum altogether. But what they said was that South Africans were destroying the cobalt when they were producing the platinum because of the system used which is pyrometallurgical mm. pyro meaning heat they heat up the whole process is very hot and they claim that in that pyro process uh, you are destroying cobalt which was always very bad news so they were proposing a new system called the cal process which is hydrometallurgical which prepares you much more for the beneficiation route and that preserves the cobalt now you know it's startling at this stage the platinum business uh, at deep mine level is not doing well the price for a deep mine is not good but this price would probably be far better to get platinum into markets new markets because the diesel market is being destroyed you know they provided the auto catalysis system for diesel cars to keep the world's air clean when you drove through London, etc., your exhaust made sure there was no pollution. And they, for, f from a point of view of platinum, it suited diesel very well. Then there was that terrible emission scandal in the United mm. States by Volkswagen, which made people turn their back on diesel. And now you find that mayors of cities are saying, we don't want diesel. That has hurt the platinum business <coughs> now how do you build <laughs> a new sort of demand for platinum it's quite worrying because we've got so many people working in these platinum mines you know particularly the deep ones they, they're expensive we've got a system that doesn't really preserve the cobalt perhaps mm -hmm. they should be looking at that and trying to prove that up according to Sedi Bello and, and Pallinghurst you know it was proven they were going to get it put into 
place in Zimbabwe. You know, we can see what's happening in Zimbabwe. There's so much turmoil there, so I don't think they're going to be looking for new technology at this stage. So I think a strong focus, n that people need to relook at this to try and see which way platinum can be taken mm. to, to make sure that we don't lose this fantastic national patrimony. And South Africa is well positioned to take advantage of hydrogen, which can aid platinum's future. Yeah, and you can see that even with this electric global now, you know, they're talking about hydrogen on demand in the car. <laughs> so this uh, takes hydrogen to a different situation, a far more uh, easier to use mm -hmm. level. Now, that sort of onboard production of hydrogen used to be spoken about many years ago by Sassel. So Sassel is a South African company that produces petrol, diesel, chemicals from coal. And they said it, was, it had a very low sulfur content. So the then CEO used to say to me during interviews that you could actually pull up at a Sassel petrol station, have your electric car, fuel cell car, filled up with Sassel petrol. And then that petrol could be processed on board, on board your car, inside your car, <laughs> like they're doing now with this electric global, to produce hydrogen. That hydrogen could then be used to produce electricity. That electricity could be used to drive your car in an emission-free manner. And <coughs> your only emission would be water. Now we see with electric <laughs> global, you know, that water is actually being recovered, mm -hmm. put through a, a, a second time, and, and, and you've got a recycling idea. So, tremendous advance, in my view, you know, from electric global. But the truth is still out. They're going to have to put up this a demonstration plant in Israel. They say they will have it by April. You can see international magazines looking at this at the moment, a little bit skeptically, mm -hmm. saying, you know, how are you going to get a fuel from water? <laughs> they don't mm -hmm. seem to believe it. But you know that there is that hydrogen potential in water. And you know we've even been saying perhaps we should do a lot more with hydrogen here because we're getting renewable energy. And why do we think we can get renewable energy cheaper? It's because we've got so much sun. We've got hot sun. Probably there are few countries in the world that have got such good sunlight. And we s also have prime wind energy. So we could have that renewable energy, hopefully at a competitive price, because of our hot sun, and we could turn water through electrolysis into hydrogen mm -hmm. and oxygen. And then we were thinking of using that hydrogen in our fuel cells, which would have platinum in them, but Electric Global has stolen a march on all this. But perhaps we could also use that hydrogen instead of burning coal in Sassel and producing that coal gas, which now the world looks down upon and mm -hmm. says it is too dirty, it's creating too much carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, our climate is changing, we can't have that anymore, let's use the cleaner and greener hydrogen. So maybe they could use that in Sassel and we could just use our conventional cars, you know, pull up <laughs> at, the, at the petrol station and at least get very clean petrol mm. and clean diesel and carry on that way. There seems so many permutations. The economics haven't been worked out. So you almost feel like taking the Australian route in mining where they say, look, just do things that move the needle now. Mm. You know, don't start planning for long-term <laughs> stuff and all that or beneficiation. Mm. But of course, they can afford to say that. They've got a population of 25 million. We've got a population of 65 million. We, you know, we need a lot of jobs. I still think there's an opportunity for us to get into our market with some sort of product that can be moved through Africa as well where there is sun and but some minds greater than mine will have to think all this out in the meantime you know I think there are opportunities but you've got to look at the economics and see whether the economics works out because that is that rules hopefully we will hear something on it from time to time Thanks for speaking with us, Martin. It's a great pleasure, Sashni. That's it for today. Join us again next week for more news analysis on the local and global mining industries.